Ocean Beach Highway, next to Fred Myers. We love our Red Leaf 1634. workers so much. Melissa, shout out to you. Your company has always been one of my favorites. We are out of here. So on our way out to Long Beach, we are stopped here at a little town called Kathlamet. And you can do tours on kayaks here. We're gonna give you a nice little tour of the town. So coming through Kathlamet, we have all the houses here that provide 180 degree views of Columbia River. We have a popular local pizza place here, and also a brewery, River Mile 38. And it's an awesome little pit stop in between if you're heading down to Long Beach. Come out here and just check out the Everybody swears by it. I've actually been in there. They have really good bloody beers and burritos. Their burritos are massive. Look at this little pharmacy. Like if you want country living, this is it. All right, boom shakalaka. Let's roll. So we are just coming into Long Beach, um, which is a part of the Washington Peninsula. There is antique shops, there is really good restaurants, um, they're known for their clown chowder. They also have a fun arcade, um, like a racetrack for kids. Um, we are going to show you a few bits and pieces of the community. In the summertime, this place is so cool. They've got a speedway, um, like I said, race cars. There's actually bike rentals down here. Um, I feel like there was an arcade at one point, but oh, that might have been from my childhood. Um, but this is the stretch, guys. This is so fun, even in the fall. It is so fun to stay down here or bring your family down for the day. Um, and today we got really lucky, it's not, raining. It's, it's a nice day at the coast. Street tacos. Do they still have the miracle round and stuff? Okay. Famous. Show the pan. Pan. The world's largest pan. <laughs> Over here is Marsh's Free Museum. We're gonna hit that up after we eat. That is also really cool. It's got a bunch of knickknacks kind of stuff in there. Castaway. I think that's where I want to eat. Castaway. Castaway. going to be eating at the castaways here in Long Beach and I want you to see just how cool this bar is.
your opinion, what is the best place to eat? My answer would be multiple. It depends on what you're interested in. All right. It, um, seafood, we have right across the street, Castaways. Um, actually, probably everything on the peninsula. Uh, we just so, left there. They were great. Yeah, oh, yeah. they are really good food. Uh, Castaways is good. Drop Anchor is really good. Drop Anchor uh, has big portions and they'll cook your fish any way you want it. So like if you want it fried, they'll fry it. If you want it baked, they'll bake it. Um, there's the pickled fish, which is also part of the Shelbourne Inn. Um, the Cove Restaurant won our Razor Clan Festival uh, this year for the best chowder on the peninsula. I think it's their third or fourth year in a row winning that. At the Cove's actually at a golf course, which is just a little bit out of town. Um, so there's Galetti's, which is Italian. Mycobias, which is an ocean park, which is part of the peninsula, not really part of the Long Beach proper. Uh, it's a, a city in, in and of itself, but Mycobias. Um, the Depot, those um, two are probably two of the high-end places we have on the peninsula. Like if you're gonna go out for an anniversary or something, you'd probably pick one of those two places. Oh, and then pizza. So we have, Always North, have, have pizza. They have the North Beach Tavern, really good pizza. They have a dill pickle pizza that I've never heard of. Uh, see, that's what I did like. <laughs> and I like dill pickles. Oh my God. Long Beach Tavern has really, really good pizza. And then Chico's uh, just got bought by somebody and they reopened and it's really good pizza. So those are three pizza places on the peninsula. The Depot restaurant actually has a food truck. And I think on Wednesday nights in the restaurant, they actually have burger night. Could I for burgers and I love a really good burger. What would you say like the best community event? Event. Yes, event. Okay. Yes. There's so, so many events. So we kind of do it by month. However, the top ones, of course, are in the summer because that's when everybody wants to come to the beach. Mm -hmm. So you have 4th of July. You have um, the Kite Festival, which is the, always the third week in August and it's a week long. It brings the most people to the peninsula. Um, Rod Run, again, which is not in Long Beach, it is in Ocean Park. However, if you love old hot rod cars, then all you have to do is pull a chair out on the sidewalk and they do- Cruisin'. Cruisin'. We always called it cruising. Yeah. yeah. So I grew up in a small town and we go one end of town to the other. And fortunately, Pacific is um, copied on Sandridge Road, so they just come down Pacific and drive up Sandridge or do the opposite, and it's quite the big deal here. Isn't that all weekend too? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's the and that is always the second weekend in September. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Do you guys have any like Christmas parades or anything like that during the holidays? So we are doing um, holidays at the beach, which is Thanksgiving weekend. So we'll do big festival back here in in the park. And then we also have tree lighting right across the street. Um, okay. Iwako, which is also part of the peninsula, they do a crab pot Christmas tree Ooh. the first Saturday of December and they light it. It's pretty amazing to see it because mm. it's made out entirely of crab pots. So, um, and then of course we have normal things. Like we've got a, um, a bike ride this eight and a half miles long called Discovery Trail. There's Cape Disappointment uh, that is also a state park and they have two lighthouses. They have a place to stay if you want to. The North Head Lighthouse actually had lighthouse keepers there. So there's two houses and they've converted it into Airbnbs. Really? So they have one where you can stay in the whole house and the other one that's split into two apartments. Um, and then the other lighthouse is by the Lewis and Clark, Clark Interpretive Center. We have a cranberry museum um, because a lot of people don't know. We have tons of cranberry box here. Yes, we, we do cranberries them. for ocean spray. So there's lots of individual farmers and Washington State University has a place where you can go and find out, find out all about cranberries. Uh, and then there's the kite museum. We have a lot of antique stores on the peninsula. There's a lot of stuff here. A lot of things I and, didn't even know about. And so the biggest thing I think that I have noticed living here and that people comment all the time is how friendly it is here. Like they love it because people are so friendly. So. Nice.
So it's a nice close knit community to, to live in and yeah. No. And people wave to you when you wave yeah. to them. Yeah, well, I have a Jeep, so I'm doing this. You're always time. getting waves, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys both es escape the crazy cities to uh -huh. come yeah. down to slower pace living. Yeah. And yeah. the funny part is I used to think of Longview as a small town. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 